All right, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are celebrating a thousand days on the road. Yeah, we've looped around, we've backtracked, we've skipped past things, we've revisited things, but we have barely scratched the surface of what Australia has to offer, and we know that through and through. <laughs> Uh, so today we're going to be reminiscing about where we've been, what we've done, a few high moments, like our, our highlights, low moments where we've struggled and any regrets that we might have had. We'll touch on our setup a little, uh, briefly as well. Uh, but yeah, we just wanted to summarise what a thousand days on the road has looked like for us and uh, this adventure that we've been on. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the car. So I uh, have owned my 2006 Land Cruiser 100 series now for, what did I work out? Uh, 11 years this year. Uh, so yeah, when we went to go set off around Australia, I had all intentions of keeping that car, but I had to start thinking about weight. So it's been very reliable. We've not had any real major issues, knock wood. Uh, but it is constant maintenance to keep the old girl up to our scratch. But if you want to look a little bit deeper into the car, I made a video only a few weeks ago uh, going into all the details about the car, touching on the weights and all that sort of stuff, uh, performance. So if you want to dive deeper into the car, I'll put the little link up in this top right hand corner of the video uh, or just search it in our channel and, uh, and we'll go from there. Yeah. And we'll just talk briefly about the caravan as mm. well. So this caravan was actually the first caravan that we looked at. It is, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the first one we walked into and we had done a little bit of research beforehand so we knew that New Age van might suit our family. Um, it just so happened that they had the van that we wanted in the yard for sale at the time. I had no intentions of buying a brand new van, but Clem convinced me to go into the, <laughs> uh, the showroom. She goes, let's just go suss out layouts and see uh, See what's going to suit us, what we want. I didn't have to twist his arm very no, far. We, walk, we walked into uh, New Age Perth. They had this one out the front on display. Uh, and just then and there, I said to Clem, I want this van. Yeah, <laughs> so I think what sold us on it the most was the layout inside. It had everything that we needed with the ensuite bathroom. But it also is a semi-off-road van. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to at least independent suspension because mm. I knew we were wanting to go... Off grid, we were, we were going to spend a lot of time off grid, so we wanted that. We wanted the north south bed only because Liam was so young, we were still getting up to him quite regularly. We didn't want to have to get out over each other. That's right, yeah. So, yeah, this ticked all the boxes and it was available in the time frame that we wanted. So, we slept on it for a while, about a week. Yeah. And then we just dropped a deposit on it and said, I want this van. So, this is from the showroom did. floor. We didn't get this built, it is as is. It is as is. I'd already made up my mind. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we did add a few things though yeah. uh, during the purchase phase. So, I got them to put another solar panel on the roof to give us a total of 300 watts. Um, got them to put another battery in, just another AGM, and we got an inverter installed in the back cupboard as well. Uh, if you go back to just a couple of days ago, I did talk about our off grid setup, so you can go into a little bit more detail there. Um, but yeah, this van has done everything we've wanted of it. Yeah, everything we've asked of it, it's done it and... Exceeded. Exceeded it. Exceeded all expectations <laughs> yes. for us. Like we knew we were going into a well-built van that was ready to go off-road, but uh, we've taken it on some horrendous roads. <laughs> yeah. Cape York and the Gibb River Road <clears throat> and countless other roads in between. Yes, and if you want to see what it looks like when it doesn't go to plan, you need to watch our Udna Data, oh, yeah, the Udna Data, <laughs> Udna Data, video. Data video. That was my fault, not the van's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long day. It was a very long day. Yes. Uh, but yeah, this van has <clears throat> gone everywhere we've wanted it to do with very minimal issues. That's right. There is one thing that we would change about the van, yeah. one major thing anyway, um, and if we had known this from the start, we perhaps would have done it differently. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing that we would change is moving the kitchenette to the other side of the caravan yeah. and putting the couch on the other side. Because yeah. for us, like we spend a lot of time outdoors. We could make do with a smaller uh, like seating area inside mm. the van. And yeah. if you swap them, put the kitchen on the other side, left the fridge where it was, you can actually make, get a bigger bench and have some bench space. Because we don't That's have right. bench space. And it's one of our pet peeves. Everything yeah. else we 
manage really comfortably, but I would love just a little bit more bench space for yeah. preparing. So dinner. we often, if especially if Liam's helping cook dinner, we'll put the chopping board down on the table and do a lot of prep on the table. Um, the only downside with what would come with shifting the kitchenette to this side of the caravan is that there'd be nowhere for the dogs to sleep. So currently they sleep under the table, yeah, well, which is a still great fit, spot. Depending on what type, if you yeah, put a cafe so, sitting so. on the L and still, yeah, yeah I don't know. it's something it? to consider. I mean, they would just sleep on the floor in the van anyway, but that's just another thing to to think about. To think about, yeah. yeah. But the biggest and best thing I've loved about this van is how well it tows. And I know a lot of people probably say that about their vans. But I've just gone from towing this to towing a uh, tandem box trailer just recently and this tows so much better. I don't feel this behind the car. It's never wobbled, it's never swayed, it's never tugged on the van or uh, on the car or anything. It just sits behind us. It's never felt unsafe, which no, is awesome. It doesn't matter where we've gone. Like we've even had the um, stability control kick in when we've been going mm -hmm. up to Cape York and on the Gib River Road. Uh, and that it, time it slid sideways on that. Yeah, track. yeah, down in uh, the Riverland there, yeah. Yes. Um, but it just sits mm. behind the car, so I'm really, really thankful for how well this toes. And it probably helps also that we've got our weights right yeah. um, for, for what we need them to be. Yeah. yeah, it's got to change a little bit now with another bubble on the way, yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll touch on that in a different video. Yeah. So yeah, love our van. Would just still change a few things, uh, but it's done everything we've wanted of it. That's right. Okay, so where have we been in that thousand days? Um, all over the place. It's been a bit of a weird figure of eight to start with and then backtracked and all sorts. So we um, left from WA through South Australia, then the NT and into Queensland. Um, but COVID was still a thing when we were traveling in that first year. Uh, so we couldn't really do New South Wales and Victoria if we wanted to get back to WA, which was on our plan. Uh, we had uh, friends getting married, we had bubs being born in the family, we had been gone for uh, just over a year so we wanted to get back and see family so we avoided uh, that southeast corner that first time. Um, so we shot back across the top in the build up to the wet season which was interesting in itself. Mm -hmm. Got to see some of the NT and Northern WA in that build up season which was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then spent 10 months uh, exploring WA, like we stopped and picked up some work again, topped up the kitty, made some changes. Um, got to see parts of WA that we had never done. Like we've explored WA pretty extensively in our time together, um, but there were still a lot of spots that we hadn't done. So for me, I got to do the Gib River Road, which I had always, always wanted to do. Glenn, you did that when you were nine? Oh, when I was nine, yes. But to go back and be able to take my own family there was really, really cool. Yeah. Mm. And then we got to do the inland road of WA, uh, the Great Northern Highway, I think it's called. Mm. Like we've always just traveled down the coast. It's what you do. but. I wanted to see Newman and like Mika Thower and get out to Kalgoorlie and stuff because that first time yeah. um, when we looped across the Nullarbor we didn't actually go up to Cal, we came from Hespins and then turned right at Norseman so got back out to Kalgoorlie mm. which was cool to see, you see the stripper pit. Kalgoorlie is actually a really cool town. Yeah there's a lot to do here. Yeah. 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 So yeah did, did what we needed to do in WA, booked Tassie because Tassie had to be booked six months in advance so that was sort of a... Oh, yeah big moment for us because that meant committing to staying on the road because it was very easily very easy to stop and call it quits then and there we were back in mm. wa we we're comfortable yeah <laughs> uh, but we loved this lifestyle too much so by booking tassie six months out um yeah that sort of committed that we were doing this long term so mm. we booked that made our way back across to the other side of the country through south australia picked up mm. some work topped up the kitty again and then uh, over to Tassie where we spent three months at the beginning of this year. Uh, and now we're up in Queensland again. So as we got off the um, boat from Tassie, stayed in Victoria for a little bit, shot back to Perth for a wedding, just flew back. Um, but then, yeah, just hightailed it pretty well out of Victoria, no, New South Wales. Just too cold and too wet at the time. Um, so Literally. we just decided to leave. Yeah. I'm hoping that we'll get back there, but we don't know honestly what the next six months is going to look like. Yeah, six so. months, a year. we've got you know <laughs> another bubble on the way. Um, so yeah, we're we're slowing down quite extensively while we wait for Bud to come, get to some appointments and stuff, um, yeah. get some work behind us again. So we don't know what the future holds for us, but at the moment we're we're just loving Queensland. This is all new and foreign to us. Um, so yeah, we'll be here for a little while. Yeah. That's sort of where we've been. What was what was your favourite place? 
Oh, it's hard to really pinpoint a favorite place and I probably wouldn't put it down to a place, but more like an experience. Like I absolutely loved doing the Gib River Road. And uh, even though I have done it before, it's just such an adventure. Like you do all your planning, you take all your food, yep. you expect some problems. I can think it's just exciting. Yeah, um, water's not ready, readily available, food's not readily that's available. That's right. It's, it's a proper a, it's adventure. It's a proper adventure. And like same as Cape York. Cape York was a little bit stressful yeah. um, because we, we were still new to it as well. We were still new to it at the time and we didn't know how the van was going to cope, but we wanted to take the van all the way to the tip. So I'm going to say as my highlights of our experience so far would be Gib River Road first and then Cape York second. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll probably I'll probably back that. Yeah. Yeah, Gib River Road is something really special. Um, mm. absolutely lovely. We spent what just shy of two weeks on the Gib? Uh yeah. Twelve Ten days. days or something? Yeah. Ten days. Um, and then went back out with our mates without the caravan when we rolled out the swag. Yeah, did a bit of camping. Yeah, which was awesome. So yeah, the Gib is a definitely a big highlight for us. Um, but Tassie. I loved so Tassie. you love Tassie, yeah. Especially because we had the most glorious weather down there and we met some amazing people down there, mm. some of, um, some locals like Colin and Chris, but then we got to meet and hang out with the Espedos for um, quite a fair while down there. It ended up That's being right. about a month of the three months we hung out with them. So made from some friends for life down there. Um, yeah. And I think because Tassie is so close together, you meet so many more people and like people are traveling, you meet lots of like-minded people. Uh, so you can get your information really easily. Yeah. It was just a really good time. Yeah, did absolutely yeah. love it. And we're, by the time we got to Tassie, we're well and truly comfortable in doing this. You know, we're not new to it like we were when we did Cape York. That's so. right. Uh, we spent the whole three months off grid down in Tassie, except for three days. Three days. Yeah. Um, we were ready only... for the roads too in Tassie. Um, lots of fuels, lots of wine. Um, you, you, but you to be honest, <laughs> best fuel economy we've had. It was, yeah. Because you've got to slow up the hills and then you're on the brakes the whole way down. So yeah, best fuel economy good. I've had was the whole time in Tassie, which was good. Because yes. we were paying a little bit more down there. Yeah. But yeah, that was uh, definitely a highlight for us. What about um, proper experience, like a paid experience? Oh, a paid experience. Oh, we haven't done that many paid No, we don't do that many. Um, um, but I, well, the helicopter flight over Cradle Mountain for me. Oh, absolutely. We put off, we, we said to yeah. each other that we would do a scenic flight somewhere yeah. in the country. Because we'd considered it, you know, at the Bungle Bungles, we'd mm. considered it at Cape York. Cape York, at Uluru, you yep. could do it too, Kings at Kings Canyon, at Lake Argyle. And we yep. said, um, no, 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 we'll just wait, we'll just wait. We'll wait till the time's right. And yep. then this opportunity came up at Cradle Mountain, and we're like, yeah. yes. Let's do it. And I think yeah. because we can't just easily get back and do that, like there's yeah. a lot of booking and planning involved for yeah. Tassie, where we, we're from WA, we can back, get back to the Bungle Bungles and stuff. Yeah, and we would have loved to have done a bit more hiking at the Cradle Mountain. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> but with Liam, it was just yeah. not going to happen. So um, we already talked about what we do next time we go back and how yeah. we do it differently. And yeah. yeah. What about Lowe's? Oh, there's been plenty of lows. Yeah, we were really yeah. struggling that first year. Liam has never really been a very good sleeper. Yeah. So when we hit that notch point area, I think our notch point episode really highlights the struggles that we were going yeah, through. Yeah, we were yeah. having a rough time. There'd yeah. been some things happen at home. We were really missing family. Yeah. If I talk about it too much, I'll get emotional. <laughs> yeah, so we, we did yes. really struggle. So yeah. we needed to flip some things. We actually booked the dogs into kennels for a few days in Yapoon. Yeah. Booked a powered site at a van park to let Liam get that kid out of him. You know, we'd just been dragging him up to Cape York and stuff. And so. then like trying to clean everything, yeah. everything that needed fixing. Um, one of us was always with Liam and the dogs. The other one was trying to do everything by themselves. Yeah. Um, we just needed a holiday from our current lifestyle, so we took a few days off. Yeah. Um, which helped. It did help it a lot. It everything for us, yeah. which was good. And there's been moments or days or sometimes even weeks where it's just, everything's just not been quite right. Yeah. Um, the dogs were a challenge at the start. And they can still be a challenge. And they can still be a challenge. Yeah. But they have adapted to caravan life really we, well. We all have. We all have, yeah. Yeah, like we wouldn't change it, but there's definitely been some really hard moments where we've thought yeah. about just pulling the pin. But the idea of going back and getting set up again and all that is even more stressful than what we're doing. So. No, it's not so much stressful, it's just <laughs> monotonous. Yeah, yeah, we've not just Yeah, stuff, we so. remember why we left and then we think we're not ready to stop no. completely yet. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that sort of segues into 
what our next year is going to look like. Yeah, or, and we don't know. We, we've got this we bub coming, know. so we're sort of settling for this little while while we've got bub coming and get some work again. Yeah. If the work's good, we might stay. Who knows? You know? We love um, this area. Um, <laughs> our family will come visit. But if this isn't working, then we just go again. Like yeah, we have that flexibility. Yeah, and that's nice. the perks of you know living and traveling the way we do is we can just, we'll make that our mind up as it gets a bit closer. But for right now, we're just enjoying watching you grow your little bub there. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's about it, I suppose. Yeah. Any sort of regrets? Regrets. For me, I wish we we got to meet and travel. Like I, we had a great time traveling with the Sfettos, and that was two and a half years into our travels, and we hadn't done that with anyone else. Yeah, yet. we tend to not travel no. with people. other people. Yeah, we're, we're so Clem and I have traveled so much. We've sort of got our our ways. Um, and to throw the other side of that in, we're from WA. Everyone else is from the east coast that we've met. Yeah, we always true. seem to be going the opposite direction <laughs> to everyone. Yeah, so you might get a crossover of a couple of days, which is great. Yeah, then not Gives see them Liam again. <laughs> a good play, we have a good social experience, um, and then you might not see them again. Yeah. You stay in touch, which is great. Yeah, um, yeah like the Wondrous yeah. Road, we've got to see um, oh, Lee and yeah, Katie and great. the kids yeah. a couple of times, but we're always going in the opposite direction. Yeah. Even yeah. though we feel like we're all travelling in the sun. Yeah. Chasing the sun. I think it would be good to do one of those adventure trips with a, another with, family. Yeah, like two. a Cape York or a, a Cape River. York or a Gib River yeah. or um, go inland and do one of those outback yeah. tracks. Um, I'd love to do a Simpson Desert trip one day. Not yeah, with the van. Not with the van. Do something <laughs> fun, but yeah. I really want to We do, do have some plans. We'd love to travel with some people and do something like that, but it just sort of hasn't worked out for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's not like it's. It's not a regret. It's not a regret. No, we love the way we travel and we're just so yeah. used to traveling by ourselves. But yeah. yeah, it's definitely something I'd like to do some more of. I'm not sure if I've got really any major regrets. Um, I think one of the things, there's lots of things I wish we'd known yeah. before we left. Um, but no major regrets. Yeah. No, this has been a life changing experience for us. Yeah. Um, we've we've grown careers, a lot. careers on hold, but that wasn't everything for us. No. Time, is a, time is a family. Seeing Liam grow, that was more important yeah. to us right now. Um, yeah. You can always make money later on. <laughs> That's We've what we proven that. Ourselves. We keep going, we keep stopping work and getting enough money to yeah. extend it again. So, yeah. It's not that hard. We just, yeah, I've worked in breweries and Harvey Normans and cafes and groundskeeping. There's work. I don't care what I'm doing. <laughs> as long as it keeps the dream alive. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll probably yeah. wrap that up because the GoPro is getting hot. Um, and we've probably talked Way well and truly long enough. But if you want to hang around, I've got a bit of a highlight video, I suppose, of what this thousand days has looked like for us. There's some cool music that I really like. It, yeah. If you want to watch it, feel free to hang around and watch it. If not, thanks for tuning in for this and listening to us talk for what's probably been half an hour. And thanks for your support for yeah, the last thousand you. days. Yeah, um, thank you. Having you guys follow along and interacting with us and supporting us, it's opened mm -hmm. up a lot of different avenues for us to work yeah. with some cool uh, companies. Um, um, and we've also met a lot of friends, a lot of lifelong friends. Yeah, people and that are just followers that yeah. we've not met on our travels, travelling. They've reached out to us as we get close to their area. You and, never yeah. really feel alone in this community, yeah. which is amazing. It's an amazing community, yeah. actually, the travel community. Yeah, so thanks. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thanks for watching and uh, we will see you next week for another episode of Our Whistle Adventure. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> I wait to see your golden smile.
Enchanted by your ways In the magic of your eyes I'll become lost in their spell So come closer, my dear Because all is well